Hello, this is Ron Burgundy, and you are listening to my voice, which commands trust and respect. Guess what? My podcast is back, and that's a win for everyone. If you're a longtime listener to the show, you probably already know the deal. Each week, I bring you hard-hitting journalism and also light entertainment. I contain multitudes. Find the Ron Burgundy Podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, get ready. Today's Strawberry Letter, the subject is, I want to live with all four women. Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I He's mean. so stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm very stupid, stupid and you stupid too. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Both Who don't want to? <laughs> I, I would like uh, n- Nobody. Boy, Come you on. You ain't understanding <laughs> the pain that's going to come with that. That sound good the first night. No, about Stupid. the first month, huh? About the first month, really, though. Anyway, yeah, come on with your prank There'll be a lot going go. on that Let's first go. month. I ain't prank never had four call. women on this. So. <laughs> you ain't never had... Hmm. <laughs> All at the same time? Oh, I've been passed off. Now, come on now. Oh, no, you have his ass. I've had that said to me. <laughs> what you say, Junior? He's winning. Yeah, four women in a row. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, I got a prank Let's for you. Go. Here it is. Mm-hmm. Your husband's prescription is ready. Hello. Hello, how you doing? This is uh pharmacy. My name is Brian. I'm the tech here. Uh, is Mr. Uh, is it Donovan? Donovan, is he available? Uh, no. What can I help you with? Uh, well, he, he dropped his prescription off about an hour ago. I wanted to. We wanted to call and let you guys know that the prescription is ready. Prescription for what? Uh, well, he um he dropped off a prescription. I'm assuming he must have. Uh, it looks like the doctor just wrote this prescription today, so I'm assuming he, um, it seems like he would probably need this uh, pretty soon, so I wanted to let you guys know it's ready. Okay, and what exactly did he get a prescription for? Um, it's uh, amoxicillin. Amoxicillin? Amoxicillin. We've got him at least um, 15 tablets. If he could take two tablets a day. Wait, uh, I'm sorry, wait, your name is Brian, right? My name is Brian, yes. I'm the technician here at the pharmacy. Okay, well, let me, okay, Donna. That's my husband. Let me make sure you have the right Donovan because, well, let me, like, can we check the birthdays? Are you allowed to do that with me? Oh, definitely, definitely. It's, um, 74. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, okay. And so what exactly is amoxicillin for? Amoxicillin is an antibiotic, ma'am. So any type of, um, small infections of, of, uh, some sort, diseases or whatever, it, it pretty much cures it. So you telling me this nasty then got something to and went and got it on my... First off, he went and seen the doctor and got a prescription under my insurance. This type of... And he went and got some... You know what? You know what? That Brian, I'm coming down there. I'll pick up the medicine. I'll get it. And if he wants that medicine, he'll check in with me at my counter. Because I got a check and he done wrote that his and not cash. I'm going to beat the hell out this He do not know. He does not even... You know what? We brought in a new okay, year... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're... You're... Um, Miss... What, 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 can I call you by your first name? What's your name? No, call me Miss. That's fine. Just call me Miss. No, call me Miss. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to apologize. I had no idea that you were not aware of the actual mm-hmm. uh, prescription that he's, that we've just filled for him. Mm-hmm. You know, just, just on a personal note, I'm just curious. Is, is there a possibility maybe, maybe you could have given it to him? Brian, no, the you didn't. You done lost all of my. Now, first off, you don't call my phone. First off, no, you, I'm glad you called my phone to tell me it's my insurance. That's why. And then you want to accuse me of giving that man something. Are you screwing him? Don't you ever in your life call somebody's phone. And this is a courtesy call. It's none of your business what's going on in my Okay? None of your business. You get out of my legs. That ain't none of your business. And now I ain't got a nothing to answer your question. I got something for your and his he want to come home with STDs, and you want to ask me if I gave him STDs? Oh, okay. What is your manager? Let me speak to your manager. Ma'am, I was just, I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be uh, unprofessional. I was just asking a, a personal question. I should not have asked you something like that, and I, I do apologize. I, is, I do, should we expect someone to pick up the prescription? I'm, I just told you, I'm going to be picking that up. I'm going to come in there. You, you know what, Brian? You'll know who I am, because I got, I got a couple words for your and I still want to speak to your manager. You did. You were very unprofessional, and I don't appreciate you coming at me. I'm trying to eat. You call me, tell me he didn't got me a 
STD didn't ask me did I give it to him. And you all up in between my uh, No, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get all in between your legs, ma'am. Apparently, that's not the place to be, considering you guys need a moxicillin, you know? But I never know the you getting. You in lost show. I'm like, you know what? Brian, I still got some firecrackers left from the first, and guess what? I'm going to light the up. Yo, you don't play games with me. You do not even know. You do not know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I know and what I got. I got some for your What is this uh, prescription at? Because I know it's not the one by our house. I know it's not. What did he take his choice for? Where are you at? Because I'm on my way now. Um, um, uh, uh, would you like, my manager's here. Would you like to speak with him, ma'am? Yeah, put your manager on. Put your manager on. I want to speak to him now. Uh, hang on a second. Uh-huh. Uh, hello? Hello? Yes, this Hi, is Tommy. Uh, who? Tommy. You're the manager of This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show when you just got pranked by your husband, Donovan. <laughs> I'm going to kill him and you. What the <laughs> prank on me? He needs to be out looking for a job that's saying what's in three months. Don't play with me like that. Got my blood pressure high. <laughs> You all right? Oh, no, I'm coming down. I'm still coming to get you. <laughs> I'm not at <laughs> baby. You can't come get me. <laughs> oh, you better be glad I love your show. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You told me, say, my wife don't tolerate no cheating. <laughs> he know. He know I'm crazy. <laughs> you ain't right. You wrong. I got one more thing to ask you, though. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> now, that's the one that'll probably get you jumped on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. That'll get you jumped on. But, you know, you got to take you that kind of risk much. when you prank. When you're pranking, you take these kind of risks. You have to. But it's you're doing pharmacy and, and medication, nephew? That's too far. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> oh. you know. Especially, they got that penicillin oh. waiting on us. You know, we know what that's for. So what are we talking about? <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, man. That damn penicillin, boy. <laughs> you got a lot of slaves to do it that way. Right <laughs> so that penicillin, that moxicillin, that, that's waiting on you? Oh, no. Your wife want to know what's happening here. <laughs> they say it over the intercom, too. Oh, your wife want to know exactly what they talk. Okay, okay, okay. Well, now, when he came down there, what, what kind of prescription? What are we talking about? Uh, right. Yeah, what you uh, talking about? What's wrong with him? 20, that's right. 2019, the Heritage Gala for Bethel AME Church. It is the gala that the nephew will be hosting. The keynote speaker is the one and only the executive producer of my show, Mr. Will Packer. Tampa, Florida, Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, baby. I will be there hosting for the church. For the church. Any any pointers, Uncle Steve, for the church? Yep, just try not to cuss. Okay. That's well, all you need. Yeah. 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 That's been my whole I, thing in church, is try not to cuss. <laughs> oh. And try not to see nobody fine and say nothing out loud, because I've done that. <laughs> but I always like, turn What did it. you say? What did well, you I say? Well, mean, I mean, I know how to do it. I saw it. was years ago, man. I was at this church, and this chick was so oh. fine. She oh. walked right past me, and I just turned to spiritual. I just said, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, ain't nobody know who I was talking to. It was, it was a reference to her, but I was calling on the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> was she that fine, dog? <laughs> dog, a dog. Dog. Mm. <sighs> okay. I'm a, I, I know what that means. Uh, when, you hear, mm, mm, when you hear yeah. that, you know mm -hmm, what a brother talking mm -hmm, about. Yeah, yeah, dog, yeah, dog, mm -hmm. dog, dog. I almost joined the church. <laughs> Yeah, Boy. that's fine. <laughs> and she was on the baptismal committee, and oh, I've already been baptized. But I was uh, saying, man, I'll take this suit off and do this again. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Top of the hour, we got the strawberry letter coming up right after this. Strawberry. I'm Honey German. And I'm Carolina Bermudez. And, and this, this is Life in Spanglish. Spanglish. And you know we're cooking it up in here. We got that arroz con pollo waiting for you. Why are you looking at me so confused? Because I'm like, what we cooking? We don't have a stove. <laughs> you got the bajo. I'll get, you know, the, you got the mangu. We got it all for you at Life in Spanglish. I need a sancocho if I'm getting any type of food. <laughs> listen and follow on the iHeartRadio app or subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. Hello, this is Ron Burgundy. And you are listening to my voice, which commands trust and respect. Guess what? My podcast is back, and that's a win for everyone. If you're a longtime listener to the show, you probably already know the deal. 
Each week, I bring you hard-hitting journalism and also light entertainment. I contain multitudes. Find the Ron Burgundy Podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.